Yesterday, we learned of plans of the remaining Static X members to embark on a world tour in support of their Platinum Smash debut album, Wisconsin Death Trip. Now, there were some people online who were critical of this move, given that the band's revered frontman, Wayne Static, passed away a few years back. But the band's longtime bassist and founding member, Tony Campos, who shared some words in response to some of those fans, and he noted that his relationship with Wayne was complicated and strained at times, but they were together from the beginning. Now, this mysterious vocalist, there are people who are speculating that it is Edsel Dope of the band Dope who will be also on the tour. But to date, there is no specific confirmation of that. Of course, it does look like Edsel Dope, so take that if you will. So speaking in the band's Facebook comments, Tony had this to say about his relationship with Wayne Static. He says, thank you so much for all the positive vibes and excitement around what we're doing with Project Regeneration. I wanted to take a few minutes to personally address some of the questions and misinformation surrounding the dynamics of my relationship with Wayne particularly towards the end. It's important for people to remember that I worked side by side with Wayne for more than 15 years. He and I shared some of the most amazing experiences of our lives together. We worked together, played together, and helped each other achieve our childhood dreams. Through it all, we developed a friendship that went beyond the band. Together along with Ken and Koichi, we brought Static X from the streets of LA all the way to the main stages of Ozfest. We made six albums together and shared more on a personal level than I can even put into words. Several people came and went through the ranks of Static X throughout the years, managers, agents, band members, etc. Through everything, I remained a steady partner to Wayne in Static X. I love the band, I love the music that we all made together. Being in a band comes along with many challenges, success, pressure, expectation, fame, money, personal influences, and egos can all be very divisive factors for people that are working and living in such close quarters for extended periods of time. When you add drugs and alcohol into the mix, it can be very easy to lose yourself and lose sight of what's really important. As time went on, Wayne began to isolate himself from the band. Drugs and alcohol truly began to take over. His personal life became more of the focal point of Static X and was on display during band interviews as well as on stage. I found myself in many uncomfortable positions and began to feel the need to stand up for myself and protect the integrity of the band that we worked so hard to build. Unfortunately, Wayne and I eventually reached a point where it seemed impossible to overcome our differences. Wayne expressed his intent to go solo, so we agreed to take some time away from one another and to give Static X a break. Neither Wayne or I quit the band. Our partnership remained intact while our personal differences kept us from working together. After some time, Wayne expressed his desire to tour his solo band under the name of Static X. I knew that it remained impossible for me to insert myself back into that toxic environment, so I reluctantly agreed to give Wayne my blessing to tour Static X without my involvement for a limited time. We both came to a business agreement and we went about our separate lives. During that tour, some legal troubles involving drugs took place and ultimately led to cutting the tour short. While Wayne did also have a lingering health issue, it was this incident that ultimately ended the Wayne quote solo band quote touring as Static X experiment. Wayne returned to his solo project and I continued touring with my other projects. We both had hurt feelings. Wayne was angry that I didn't want to continue on this way when things were and I was angry over how helpless I was to stop any of it from happening to begin with to make matters worth worse, we both began vocalizing our unhappiness and our frustrations with one another publicly. I sincerely regret us doing that. In the end, you can never be prepared to lose someone that you have cared about so unexpectedly. In my heart, I hope that Wayne would eventually rise above his demons and that we would reconcile. I was not prepared for Wayne's passing. None of us were. It was devastating for me. I never got to reconcile with my friend. I never got to apologize or to forgive my friend while he was still alive. I never got to say goodbye. Unless you have unexpectedly lost someone, you may not truly be able to understand what I am expressing. It changes everything. It makes you realize how short and fragile life is and how lucky we all are to be alive. It makes you replay all of the situations in your head and wish that you could have done things differently. All of that while having to accept the fact that your friend is gone. 
and that you're never going to get to express any of this to them. The bottom line is I miss Wayne despite our differences and disagreements. He was my friend for over a decade. He was my brother and my partner. Many of the people that were closest to Wayne in the early years were driven out of his life towards the end. In our own ways, we all did our best to reach him, but we were all powerless to save him. I wish that Wayne was here celebrating 20 years of Wisconsin death trip with us. I truly believe in my heart that if Wayne were sober and healthy and had distanced himself from the negative influences in his life, he'd be touring with us. I know that Kenny and Koichi feel the same way that I do, making this record with Ken and Koichi and our friends and bringing this to all the fans is the best way I can think to express my love, my respect, and my admiration to my old friend. Having personally reached out to Wayne's family and gaining their blessing, I feel like this is the right way to celebrate and remember who Wayne truly was and all the good times we had together. This is the send-off that Wayne deserves. In closing, I just want to say I am not interested in rehashing the things that divided us. I'm only interested in celebrating the things that brought us together. I hope this has been a helpful insight. I look forward to bringing everyone together as we celebrate Wayne's life and the music we all made together in Static X. I thank you all for the love and support. Tony Campos, that was an insightful statement there from Tony that hopefully gives those people some, you know, a minority of people who have been critical of the decision to come back and tour in support of this album. Obviously, these members have the right to celebrate this music that they made, and they're doing it in a very tasteful, a very elegant way to honor the member of Wayne, uh, the memory of Wayne Static. This is a, a good way to memorialize him. It seems like they're very serious about this. They're going to do it in a very professional way, and you should check out those tour dates if you get the chance to go out and relive this music, these great songs that this band wrote together, and um, you know, really, really celebrate the life of Wayne Static, a true artist and musician who is to this day uh, deeply missed by uh, metalheads around the world. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're new here with Rockfeed, you can subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. You can also check out these recommended videos. That is all for now. Thanks so much for joining us here today. We'll see you all very soon. <laughs>